So if you remember last year when we talked about the, the 680 advantage, it was a concept trial, right? We, were, we had demonstrated everything that we were, we had the, the, the most fuel efficient combination from the truck in terms of aerodynamics as well as the powertrain. This year, it's in production, right? So we launched it the first week of March. And really, when you look at the T680 advantage, it's really in, in three areas. One is, with the truck already being the most aerodynamic, we looked for any, any further improvements in aerodynamics. We looked at how we had optimized the powertrain, and then we looked at the tractor and trailer combination. So when I, when I step over here to the T680, I want to start with just the aerodynamic package. So I talked about we provide now a factory installed aerodynamic package, and that's really in, in several areas. When you look under the bumper, we wanted to make sure we streamline the air around the front of the truck. And so that's the, the, the extender down below the bumper, as well as the closeouts around the wheels. And then as we move down the side of the truck, and you can see it on either side, we took the, the extenders below the chassis fairings, and we lengthened them, and we flared them out just a better direct airflow down the side of the truck. And I'd say the most extensive change was really in the rear, rear chassis fairing section is where we remove the, the steps for deck access. We've got a lot of customers that don't want their drivers on, on the deck plate anymore, and so we, we remove those steps and streamline the, the rear section of the chassis fairings, and then moved all the uh, trailer connections so you can get to them from the, from the ground. So as you look down either side of the truck, which did a, a significant change on the chassis fairings, and then on the extenders, when you look at the trailer gap, wanted to manage a, a, uh, a trailer gap between 30, 38, 40 inches, and so we did, extended the extenders there, and as I talked about, we did the closeout on the top, and that's just to better manage the airflow. We also looked at optimizing the tractor and trailer, and so on, on this particular truck, we've made recommendations in terms of third-party uh, trailer fairings. So along the, the rear section as well as boat tail on the back of the trailer. And again, there's a significant advantage when you optimize the tractor and trailer. We've now got the tractor as about as efficient as it can be. And so now it's looking at, as you direct airflow past the tractor, how to keep it efficient as it, as it flows down the side of the trailer. When we get to the powertrain, talked about the Packard MX engine has been optimized with the Fuller Advantage transmissions. And so we've picked up that, but it also goes beyond that as you optimize through the, the drive line and the, and the rear axles. In this particular case, we've got a six by two, but we've also got, we're working with our, our partners, uh, Dana and Meritor, to get more efficient axles and, and so to really optimize it through the full length of the powertrain. So engine, transmission, drive lines, and, and, the, and the rear drive axles. And we've also, in this case, we've got super single tires on it. So when you look at that combination, right, I said we were going to get 5% by May. We've already got 4% of that now. And so we're working on the, the remaining percent with more efficient drive axles. So that represents what we have in production now. And again, the program itself is really about maintaining, demonstrating our leadership position in fuel economy. So it's an ongoing program that will continue building uh, demonstrator trucks that represent the latest technology in fuel economy.